In the early spring of 2021, a team of electrical engineers found themselves in the serene Welsh Valley, engaged in trench digging work. Unexpectedly, they stumbled upon a mysterious underground tunnel that wasn't marked on any maps or plans, taking them by complete surprise. This eerie and forgotten tunnel was discovered near a medieval monastery, adding to its enigmatic nature. The team from the Western Power Distribution was in Monmouthshire to install a new power line pole near a customer's home while aiming to preserve the picturesque landscape. The discovery of the tunnel disrupted their plans. Alan Gore, the technician overseeing the project, recounted the experience in an article on the PT's official website. Despite conducting the usual checks and securing necessary permissions before starting the work, the tunnel remained hidden from their drawings and records. The digging was necessary to relocate the pole and underground cable as requested by the customer, preventing obstruction of a footpath by the new pole's angled stay. The beauty of the Y Valley has historically been a significant factor for the team. Known for its abundant castles and recognized as an area of outstanding natural beauty, AONB, since 1971, the region has been a focal point of early tourism in Britain. The breathtaking river landscapes, including the renowned two-day boat ride along the River Wye from Ross to Chepstow, initiated by Reverend John Egerton in 1750, have attracted tourists for centuries. The area's popularity gave rise to public tour boats, guides, accommodations, and other services that catered to the needs of visitors. The tourism industry's growth was instrumental in shaping the landscape of the Y Valley, known for its rolling hills, ancient forests, cliffs, and gorges. The unique patterns formed by the land contribute to the area's alger, making it a destination worth exploring. Through centuries of resource exploitation, the Y Valley has evolved into a landscape of small communities interspersed with vast fields, alongside churches and monasteries situated in remote locales. Beyond its natural allure, the Y Valley played a pioneering role in Britain's industrialization during the latter part of the 16th century. The valley's streams powered large water wheels, facilitating the establishment of copper, tin, and iron factories. These industries rely on charcoal produced from locally sourced timber. Among these, the Y Valley's tinder and wireworks stood out as the leading industrial enterprise in Wales by 1600, employing hundreds of workers. The River Y, traversing the Y Valley, played a pivotal role in driving commerce. Its navigable waters facilitated the movement of materials and goods, leading to the emergence of associated businesses such as shipbuilders and vessel repair enterprises. The 1870s saw the inauguration of the Y Valley Railway, ushering in a fresh wave of tourism in the 1880s. Tintern Station became a hub for tourists eager to explore the region, with many drawn to the Tintern Abbey, particularly during a harvest moon when they aspired to witness its renowned rose window. Tintern Abbey, situated near the Wales-England border, dates back to 1131, and despite centuries of ruin, retains immense historical significance. In 1901, it was officially recognized as a monument of special importance to Wales and subsequently acquired by the royal family. The abbey was founded by Walter de Clare, Lord of Chepstow, who brought French monks from the Lanthony Monastery. These monks adhered to the rule of Saint Benedict, a doctrine emphasizing prayer, obedience, and labor conducted in silence. Chastity and a life of poverty were also integral to their way of life. While many Welsh monasteries succumbed to destruction during the wars of Edward II in the early 14th century, Tintern Abbey endured due to its secluded and inaccessible location. The possibility of Edward II's personal intervention in safeguarding the abbey is supported by historical accounts of his appreciation for culture, music, dance, and crafts such as blacksmithing and thatching. Surviving challenges like the Black Death and financial crisis, Tintern Abbey retained its prominence until the dissolution of monasteries in the 16th century. Henry VII's first act of suppression in 1535 led to its closure. Though Tintern Abbey's annual income of £192 made it the wealthiest monastery in Wales, 
it was still dissolved in 1549. The building subsequently came under the ownership of the Earl of Worcester, Henry Somerset, who disassembled the roofs to capitalize on their valuable lead content. These historical threads continue to shape the legacy of Tintern Abbey to this day. During the early spring of 2021, a team of electrical engineers found themselves in the captivating scenery of Wales Y Valley. Engaged in digging a trench, their task took an unexpected turn when they stumbled upon an enigmatic tunnel beneath the ground. This concealed passage, absent from any maps or plans, caught the workers off guard, revealing a forgotten underground world that had remained untouched for countless centuries. In the aftermath of the Reformation, the Abbey's ruins underwent a transformation, becoming a source of inspiration for tourists and poets of the era. Amidst the picturesque landscape of the Wye River Valley, the Abbey's remains took on a romantic allure, captivating visitors with its beauty. The Duke of Beaufort, who held ownership of the Abbey, felt a personal connection to the site and desired its preservation. The Abbey's popularity as a tourist destination began with Reverend William Gilpin, who documented his voyage on the River Wye. He referred to Tintern Abbey as the most beautiful site he encountered, although he noted the regularity of ruined gable ends. The renowned artist J. M. W. E. Turner, at the age of 17, immortalized the Abbey in sketches that later formed the basis for his celebrated 1795 watercolor painting titled Tintern Abbey. Among the notable works inspired by the Abbey is William Wordsworth's poem, Lines composed a few miles above Tintern Abbey, written in 1798. Although the Abbey isn't explicitly mentioned, it's believed to have been the poet's inspiration during a walking tour through the Wye Valley, leaving him profoundly moved by its natural beauty. In contemporary times, the WPT team's excavation revealed an unexpected find initially mistaken for a cave. The tunnel, about four feet high, followed the path of Angity Brook beneath a footpath through the valley. This long hidden tunnel, absent from historical records, led to a pause in digging and consultation with experts. Recognizing its potential historical importance, the WPD team contacted COD, the Welsh government's heritage branch. Archaeologists were enlisted to investigate, prompting a temporary halt to the work. The tunnel's origin remained speculative, with theories linking it to nearby ironworks ruins. Comparisons have been drawn to a similar discovery in Poland, a network of medieval tunnels beneath Siddle's castle, believed to manage groundwater drainage. Archaeologist James Wright challenged the secret medieval tunnel label, suggesting a link to local corn grinding mills rather than distant Tintern Abbey. While imaginative theories of escape routes persist, practical uses like drainage and water transport seem more likely. The allure of subterranean mysteries often spawns elaborate tales, yet historical evidence underscores practicality and historical context as underlying truths. Subscribe and press the bell icon for regular updates.